uh, after you heard all the basics about power and uh, and the fluidics now we'll go to newer power modulations and high end fluidics which are there in the new machines what do high end machines offer firstly they offer efficiency and safety power modulations which significantly reduce energy delivered in the eye and improve thermal thermal safety this is called phaco dynamics and safety is surge control mechanisms which allow you to do surgery at high vacuum and when, and this is called hydrodynamics now first about power modulation we've all been through all these continuous pulse or these has already been uh, have been spoken about so i'll not repeat them so the new tor <coughs> new power modulations are the two non longitudinal power modulations one is the torsional which is a circular oscillation and the elliptical which is the <coughs> combination of transversal and longitudinal now the torsional phaco emulsification is a side to side oscillatory movement of the phaco tip it is present in the infinity in the centurion machines it works by surface shearing action as you can see in this <coughs> animation rather than a jack hammer effect also the centurion vision vision system now has the balance tip which is a new tip which increases the cutting efficiency and decreases the cde delivered inside the eye this is due to the design of the tip which has a maximum movement at the tip which is 180 microns com compared to earlier kelman tip which had a movement of only 130 mic microns at the tip clogging was a problem with torsional ultrasound and this has been solved with the ozel ip which gives pre pulses of longitudinal ul ultrasound clears the clog clogging and keeps the fragment on the tip and again the as you can see in the animation the torsional phaco is resumed elliptical <coughs> ultrasound blends the longitudinal and transverse ultrasound as you can see in this animation the longitudinal ultrasound is the forward and backward movement combined with the transversal movement which is left to right motion resulting in this elliptical excursion of the phaco tip so this is the transverse and ultrasound present in the amo signature so what are the benefits there is less energy delivered less endothelial damage is there less incision burns and less trabeculitis also by there is less repulsion of the nuclear fragment which causes excellent followability also causes need for <coughs> lesser need for a higher vacuum which is normally you require higher vacuum with longitudinal phaco and reduce in turbulence and surge now let us talk about the fluidics we have we have had cruise control device i has i'm sorry as as it is spoken about yeah so i was not i'm sorry i was not there and dual linear okay uh sorry i was not here so i have to go to another session but the new near of control system in which you can have <coughs> vacuum and power controlled independently one can be in the yaw and the other can be in the pitch here in this animation we'll show you vacuum is in the yaw and the power is in the pitch which is up and vertical movement and the yaw is the horizontal movement and surgeon can have any combination of vacuum and ultrasonic power throughout the surgery and i'll show you in this animation you first there's a you attract the fragment with a lower vacuum about 150 and then you impale the fragment with giving a burst and the hold the fragment when you hold the fragment you can as you can see you got into your movement where where the vacuum has been increased to 450 so it gives you a good hold and then you chop the fragment at this high vacuum and as you fragment you can always lower the vacuum so that you don't have a surge so this is a and the in the pitch you have the ultrasound which you can increase or decrease as you find it necessary now occlusion mode for phaco dr sharma occlusion mode for have dealt with occlusion mode okay i'm sorry at the, now the other setting is the occlusion mode phaco which is present in the <coughs> again in the amo signature when the tip is not occluded there is minimum vacuum there is a high afr that is aspiration flow rate the pump is rotating at a very high speed and there is good flowability of the fragment 
when the occlusion occurs the vacuum rises to a maximum preset the afr is now nil because the tip is occluded the pump stops and now you have a good hold when the occlusion breaks again the vacuum falls but you set a lower afr because you can set different afrs in different stages of surgery the pump starts at a lower <coughs> afr and because the pump starts at a lower aspiration flow rate there is less surge again the case technology this is again chamber stabilizing environment for fluidics management occlusion occurs as you can see and vacuum rises then vacuum reaches the preset vac maximum that is about 500 and then maximum vacuum is meant can be maintained from anywhere between 100 milliseconds to 2000 milliseconds and then within 20 milliseconds of this hold the vacuum drops to a lower level called the case vacuum which is at set at about 350 and this is by active pump reversal so the vacuum breaks finally work breaks uh, vacuum breaks and not at the maximum vacuum but at the case vacuum which is a less <clears throat> which is a lower vacuum and is safer level to break the vacuum and there is less surge so approximately it reduces the surge by 56% in a 20 gauge tip the case so fusion fluidic fluidics in amo has both the case and technology and the occlusion mode technology which can be which can work together and these are both anti surge mechanisms and also it's got a dual pump dual pump technology with which combines the peristaltic pump and the venturi pump peristaltic is good for chopping and mobilizing the fragments and venturi is good for epinucleus and cortex removal and you can see this very hard brown cataract dark hard brown cataract being emulsified with this signature machine you can see the, the how well it cuts this is such a hard brown black cataract that i have done a four quadrant technique in this and you can see that it is absolutely a black cataract but look at the cutting power of this machine the emulsifying power of the machine and the vacuum Uh, although at set at 400 the chamber is rock steady this is because of the occlusion mode and the case technology that is present in this machine now we come to a revolution in fluidics called the active fluidics which which is present in the new centurion machine from alcon what do we do in have in gravity phase uh, gravity based systems if we have a passive inflow by force of gravity higher the bottle height the higher the higher the intrusion pressure higher the intraocular pressure the aim is to maintain constant iop in the anterior chamber however the bottle height cannot be raised instantly if you want to change the this thing the intraocular pressure you can't raise the bottle height instantaneously to to to, to get the desired infusion pressure leading to surge so what do you have in the active fluid is a bag fits into the special compartment between the two plates sensors detect the pressure inside the eye these plates rapidly compress and decompress the fluid in in the bss bag to maintain a target intraocular pressure so they always have the target pressure remains the same in the anterior chamber surgeon sets the desired intraocular pressure and in this type of technology dynamically adjusts infusion pressure to maintain a surgeon specified target pressure so it's good for high vacuum techniques and prevents uh, surge while maintaining low intraocular pressure also and is good for the op optic nerve head and if, as you can see in the gravity and the on the graph here the the active fluidics and the the, the occlusion break with active fluidics compared to the occlusion break with gravity fed optics and you can see the surge with the gravity based <coughs> uh, gravity based system also is what we got is a differential setting of both vacuum and aspiration flow rate in position 2 and position 3 now what it means is that position 2 where you have high vacuum and position 3 where you have emulsification so in position 2 the higher vacuum is for a better hold and for position 2 the lower and safer vacuum is for emulsif emulsification so you have in the position 3 You, when the tip is exposed it reduces the surge on occlusion break and this is a small video clip to show you as uh, you look at the vacuum settings as soon as there there's a <clears throat> as soon as the vacuum rises 
the, you, you see the vacuum, when the tip is occluded, the vacuum rises. And as soon as the tip becomes bare, the vacuum will fall and will come to 200. As you see, it is 150, 200, it rises. So whenever it rises the two, uh, and the two tip is occluded, it rises. And whenever the tip is bare, the vacuum falls. So this prevents surge. Other additional control mechanisms, uh, surge control mechanisms are the small bore aspiration tubing and the high flow infusion sleeves, which also prevent surge. If BSS runs out, the aspiration automatically stops. This is a very, very important additional safety me mechanism, both in the Infinity and the Centurion. So active fluid, the clinical advantages of active fluidics are they maintain a stable ocular environment and especially ad uh, advantages in I, 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 IFS, small pupil, shallow anterior chambers, weak zonules, and subluxated lenses. Also, in glaucomatous eyes, you can <clears throat> operate at a very low intraocular pressure, and it also provides a very stable chamber and vitrectomize and high myopes. So, what are the benefits of high end machines? Efficient utilization of ultrasound energy, better followability with minimal turbulence and less energy and less fluid use. They are very good for dense brown cataracts, weak zonules, small pupil, and compromised corneal endothelium. There are fewer interoperative complications because the surge control mechanisms are excellent, and therefore you get clear corneas on the first post-op day. Thank you.